Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ubuntu lock screen on your GS3. So, um, it's actually from the operating system that Ubuntu created for, specifically for um, tablets and smartphones. And what this does, the guys from Rotary, um, Rotary Heart, just took the lock screen aspect of that and brought it over to the GS3. As you can see, it looks like the Ubuntu OS that you would have on your smartphone. Now, the OS actually isn't available for mass consumption, but there is a developer's preview, which I've linked in the full tutorial. So if you guys want to check out the whole thing, um, you can check out that uh, that link in the full tutorial. But right now we're just going to install the lock screen. Now I've already installed it, and we're going to open it up, and there are a couple things you're going to want to do to actually get this working properly before we even set it up. So the first thing you want to do is make it your default home app. So if you have TouchWiz or another third-party launcher, you're going to want to, it'll automatically take you here, and you're going to click Yes. And then we're going to go into Settings, um, Application Manager, oops, which is right here. We're going to go to All. And then since I have TouchWiz, I'm going to turn that off from being default. So right here, I'll go to clear defaults. And you can see that right here. So I'll tap that. And now when I hit the home button, I'll want to be on Ubuntu lock screen and I'm going to click always. And then OK. And obviously if I want to change that, I can just go back. So, and then the second thing we're going to do is disable the lock screen. So if you have a lock screen installed, you're going to want to disable that. So we'll go here screen lock, and then just select none, because obviously you're installing a new lock screen. There you go, and then we're going to go back into Ubuntu. So it should be in your app downloads or whatever. And here we can start setting things up. Now there is one thing I can warn you about. If you do, now that it's on, enabled, if you accidentally lock it before setting up a password, you actually get stuck and you have to go drop down menu and force quit it and all that stuff. So if you just want to be safe, you're going to uncheck this until you've actually set up everything. Now the first thing you want to do after unchecking that is going into security and enabling it. So just check that mark, it'll say now you have a password. And the only security type they have is a password. So if you're looking for something else, the developer says he's working on it. Um, but right now it's just the password. And now that we've done that, we can go here and you can check um, the um, accessibility service. So that means if you want notifications to come onto your home screen, you can turn that on and just go here and you're going to want to turn on Ubuntu right here. Slide it on. And there you go. Um, and just make sure that if you have any other services, you're going to want to have those turned off. So we're just going to go back and then finish setting it up. Um, there are a couple other options. Well, we're not we're not actually in there. Yeah. Um, uh, you can choose what notifications you want: battery display, alarm, um, advanced notifications. Right here, it'll give you a, a list. And then from here, you can select all or unselect. I just I keep them keep them all selected. We're gonna go back back. Um, you can mess around with all this stuff, but now animation settings. So when you do receive a notification, um, the little circle screen, which I'll show you in a couple seconds, will actually light up. And I usually do random, but you can select white, red, black, whatever. Um, so now we can go back. We can enable the lock screen, and since our password is on, and we can set it up right here, so you just turn it on. This is what it looks like. When you receive a new notification, it'll fly in right here, but since I haven't set up anything, I'm just going to make sure that the password is um, created. So, as you can see right here, it just says how to set your password. You're just going to click yes, and then you're going to enter in your password here, so I'll just do something very simple and then you're going to hit this white button it'll ask you to do it again same thing hit the white button you'll see that pass accepted and now obviously you enter it in one more time to get out of the screen 
and it'll take you back. You want to just restart your device just to make sure that everything has been taken into account. So just hold on to the obviously the power button and hit restart. So I've just restarted my device and I've sent myself an email from my computer to um, my Gmail account. And once I receive that notification, it should actually pop up right here. There it is. So it pops up right there. And as you can see in the background, it's showing the, the different colors changing from what we did with the, the animations. And you also have the, the other um, notification, which is just Android settings. But once you see it, once you see the notification that you, you want, which is this, you can actually tap it and we can just open it up right into the Gmail app. And there you go. Um, sometimes it doesn't work. For some reason, it might just take you to the home screen. But for the, for the most part, it actually works perfectly fine. Um, you can just launch right into the corresponding application. So that's, that's really it, guys. It's um, Ubuntu lock screen. It's available for free in the Play Store. And check it out. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial for that link to the developer's preview and more information. Thanks, guys.